Welcome. In this video, we will see how to add two 16-bit numbers in 8051. So for this program, we are assuming two 16-bit numbers. The first 16-bit number is 1208X and the second 16-bit number is A56DH. So these numbers are stored in internal RAM memory of 8051. Now while storing these numbers, each number will require two locations because this is a 16-bit number and on a single memory location uh, we can store 8-bit data. So the first number that is 1208 is stored on the memory locations 40H and 41H. So out of this again the lower byte of the first 16-bit number is stored at 40H and the higher byte is stored at 41H that is this one. Similarly, the second 16-bit number that is A56DH is stored on the memory locations 42 and 43H and on 42H the lower byte will be stored and on 43H the higher byte will be stored. When we add these two numbers, now if you look here the addition, the logic that we have to implement is that first we have to add the lower byte of the both numbers. After that, whatever result we are going to get that result should be stored at 44H address location. So the result of addition of 08X and 6DX is 75X. So that number is stored at 44X. So this 45, 75X number is nothing but the lower byte of the result. After that, we have to add the higher bytes of the two numbers. Now while adding the higher bytes, we have to take into account the carry that may be generated while adding the lower bytes. So while adding these two bytes, lower bytes, if a carry is generated, then that carry should also be added in these two higher bytes, right? So 12 plus A5 plus if the carry is generated, then we have to add one to that result. So the result that we are going to get in this case B7, that will be stored at 45H address location. So uh, the this is nothing but the higher byte of the result. Now we will see the actual implementation of this program in Keel Microvision 4 software. So I have already typed the program in this software. Now here origin 00h. So this is again an assembler directive which indicates the start of the program and this address 00h is the address of ROM memory. Then the first instruction that we have written is move a comma 40h. Now here this 40h is the address, address of RAM memory. Now we have taken the lower byte of first number which is stored at 40h. So you can look here at 40h address location, we have stored the lower byte of the first 16 bit number. So that byte is taken into accumulator using this first instruction. After that move b comma 42h. So if you again look here at 42H address location, we are having the lower byte of second 16 bit number. So that lower byte of second 16 bit number is copied to B register using this instruction. So now if we add A comma B, then the lower bytes of both the 16 bit numbers will be added together and result will be stored in accumulator. After that, we have to store the result of addition at 44 hex address location. So the lower byte of the result will be stored at 44 h address location. So if you look here, this is 44 h address location and here we are going to store the lower byte of the 16 bit result. So using this instruction, we can store that. Then now we have to add the higher bytes of both the 16 bit numbers. So for that again, I have to take the higher byte of first 16 bit number into accumulator. So for that we have to use this instruction that is move a comma 41h. So if you look here again at 41h we are having the higher byte of the first 16 bit number. So that will be copied to accumulator and after that we have the instruction move b comma 43h which will copy the higher byte of the second uh, 16 bit number which is present at 43h address location into b register. Now here if you observe that we have used add c a comma b instruction in the previous case we had just used add a comma b but here we have used add c a comma b so the reason for that is that uh, when we add 
two lower bytes of the both the numbers at that time carry may be generated so while adding the higher bytes of both the numbers we also have to take into account the carry that may be generated so that's why instead of add we have used here add c instruction so this instruction will add the value in a the value in b and the value of carry flag and the result will be stored in accumulator so that result is nothing but the uh, the higher byte of 16 bit result so that we have to store at 45 edge address location so for that we have used the instruction move 45 edge comma a so this is the program now we'll see the simulation of the program so here we have to type d colon 40 edge so this will give me the ram memory uh, contents okay so this is the 40h address location this is 41 this is 42 this is 43 and this is 44 okay so now uh, the first number the lower byte of the first number i have to store at 40h so if you look at this table so at 40h address location i have to store 08 so i will store 08 then i have to store 12 on 41 so 12 after that 6d on 42 so this is 42 and i have to store 6d after that for a5 on 43 so here i have to store a5 so these are the uh, two 16 bit numbers stored now if i want to get the result i have to click on this run button and once i click on that run button i will get the result on subsequent locations so now let's check the result so here we have got the result so this is the lower byte and this is the higher byte so if you compare this with the result so the result we have here is 75 h at 44 h address location that is this one and we have b7 hex on 45 h address location so here we have got b7 so this is how we can add two 16-bit numbers in 8051. Thank you.